Hey everybody, it's great to see you my friends. Welcome back for another study in the book of Exodus. Today we're going to pick up in Exodus chapter 32. Now before our reading today, let's think about where we've gone so far in the book of Exodus. The children of Israel were slaves in Egypt and God delivered them out of slavery. They left Egypt, went through the Red Sea where the Egyptian army was destroyed, and then God led them through the wilderness to Mount Sinai. And there at Mount Sinai, uh, they said that they wanted to be God's people. And then last time we saw how God was on Mount Sinai and spoke to them and told them what we call the Ten Commandments. And those commandments explained to him or to them how they could be holy as God's people. Now, after that was over, Moses drew closer to where God was on the mountain while the people of Israel stayed back away from the mountain. You remember that they were scared and they said, don't let God talk to us anymore because uh, they saw, the, they heard the thunder and the trumpets, saw the lightning and the dark clouds um, and knew that God was on the mountain and they were afraid when they heard God's voice. Uh, so Moses now has gone up on the mountain to hear more of the law from God while the rest of the nation of Israel waits for him at the base of the mountain. And that's where we pick up in chapter 32. Chapter 32, verse 1. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves together to Aaron and said to him, Up, make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what's become of him. So Aaron said to them, Take off the rings of gold that are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people took off the rings of gold that were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool and made a golden calf. And they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early the next day and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way I have commanded them. They have made for themselves a golden calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, these are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them in order that I may make a great nation of you. But Moses implored the Lord his God and said, O oh Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people? whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent did he bring them out, to kill them in the mountains and consume them from the face of the earth? Turn your burning anger and relent from this disaster against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised I will give to your offspring, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord relented from the disaster that he had spoken of bringing on his people. Then Moses turned and went down from the mountain, and with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets that were written on both sides, on the front and on the back they were written. The tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, It is not the sound of shouting for victory or the sound of the cry of defeat, but the sound of singing that I hear. And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burned hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made and burned it with fire and ground it to a powder and scattered it on the water and made the people of Israel drink it. 
chapter 34, verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke. Be ready by the morning and come up in the mountain to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you and let no one be seen throughout all the mountain. Let no flocks or herds graze opposite that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the first, and he rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him and took in his hand two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on their children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. And he said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, please let the Lord go in the midst of us, for it is a stiff-necked people. And pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I am making a covenant. Before all your people I will do marvels, such as not been and created in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people among whom you shall are shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for taking care of us and for providing for us. Thank you right now, especially for providing us with your word that we can read and study together. Please bless us as we seek to understand it and apply it. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Okay, so you remember from last time that God spoke the Ten Commandments to Moses and the children of Israel. And the children of Israel heard the voice of God, and they were pretty frightened. And I think I would be frightened too. And they told Moses, you, you talk to us, but we can't hear from God anymore. Otherwise, we'll die. And so Moses went up on the mountain, and he got more instruction from God. But Moses was up there a long time. And you remember what happened when Moses was on the mountain? The people of Israel were waiting for him, but they waited and waited. And after a while, what did they think? Well, they told Aaron, we don't know what happened to this guy, Moses. And so they had Aaron build for them a golden calf. And then when Moses was on the mountain, God told him, this is what everybody's doing. I told them my rules and they're already disobeying me. I, I'm going to destroy them and make a new people out of you, Moses. And Moses begs God and pleads for the people saying, please don't do that to them. Give them another chance. And Moses goes down and sees what the people were doing. And Moses is so angry that he takes the Ten Commandments, the two pieces of stone that God had written on, and he throws them and they break. And then he grinds it up and he makes the children of Israel drink it as a punishment. Yuck. But then, as we saw, Moses talks to God some more. And God explains who he is how he is very merciful and patient, but at the same time, holding people responsible for their choices and their sins. And Moses says, God, please stay with us. Please be our God and let us be your people. And God says, I'll renew the covenant, the agreement with you, and you'll see even more amazing and wonderful things as I am your God. So what can we learn from this reading today? Well, I think number one, we can learn that God takes sin seriously. God takes sin seriously. He had given them the Ten Commandments and explained, 
Here are 10 things you need to look out for to make sure you're doing what's right and avoiding what's wrong. And shortly after that, the people started doing what was wrong. They, God had told them, don't worship other gods. Don't make idols. And what did they do? They said, well, here are the gods that brought us out of Egypt. And um, they wanted to make sacrifices to the Lord in front of this, this golden calf. They were making idols. They disobeyed. And there were serious consequences to that disobedience. So we know that God takes sin very seriously. But also, number two, we learn that God is patient and forgiving. By the time we got to the end of our reading today, guess what? God had allowed Moses to have a second copy of the Ten Commandments. Right? So he had a new copy of the Ten Commandments, and God renews his covenant, his agreement with the people. And as our reading ended, the children of Israel were still allowed to be God's special people. Now, what about us? Well, do we take sin seriously? Do we work hard to obey what God says and to follow him? We know that God loves us. He loves us enough to give us rules and warnings to keep us from getting hurt. And he loves us and is patient with us and will forgive us as we, as we struggle with sin in our lives. But the question is, are we serious about being God's special people? Do we want to work hard to obey him? And when we find out that we've done something wrong, are we willing to say sorry and work on making things right with God? All right, well, let's have a prayer together. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for caring for your people the children of Israel, in the book of Exodus. And thank you for caring for us today. Help us to be careful with the things that we do so that we can take sin seriously because we know it is a very serious thing. We know that you tell us what's right and what's wrong because you love us and want to protect us. Help us to obey you and to serve you well. And we're sorry for when we haven't obeyed you and done the right thing. Thank you for being willing to be merciful to us and allowing us to be your people today, even though we have so much that we need to learn and change. Please take care of us as we work to serve you. It's through the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Okay, my friends, thanks for joining us. As always, please draw a picture of what we read about today. And if you'd like to post a copy in the comments on Facebook, that would be great. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.